is my great honor and pleasure to introduce to you the mastermind, the architect of this program, Mr. Tom Kellogg. I'm going to jump into some play readings here with you quickly, okay? Because we have about a half an hour. And what I'd like to do is we're going to read uh, uh, a monologue. We're going to have a monologue for you and then three plays that were written. Two of those uh, plays were written by young people here. Over the We've been here 10 years. This is crazy. This is really wow. uh, amazing. Badatka's Lesson by John C. Skinner. Time, 30 hibernations after creation. At the early morning dawn, the sun pauses and sits before the first rays pierce the dark azure night sky. Place, central Idaho, in the Nez Perce National Forest along Slate Creek. Near the base of Pilot's Knob, there are evergreen trees blanketed like a carpet as far as the eye can see. The sounds echoing in the forest are of hawks screeching nearby, of squirrels and chipmunks dropping pine cones off of the trees, the smell of wet dew on the early morning grass, and the fragrant, Fresh smell of pine needles lingers in the air. Above, night gives way to the tr transitional colors of the pink and orange morning light. At rise, nestled below the canopy of the forest, Yavka awakens from his deep slumber. He stretches his haunches matted with cockleburs from last fall. His beady eyes adjust to the morning light as he emerges from his tree trunk den, so well hidden. He seems to be born of the earth. He yawns and his massive jaws open wide to reveal his sharp pointed incisors. His stomach demands food as it growls with intensity. I'm hungry. <laughs> I must go down to the river and catch some food. Mother Earth awakens and the Earth trembles. My child, you have slept through winter again. Now you awaken just to eat my food and drink my water? Have our past conversations taught you nothing? Mother, why do you hassle me so early in the morning? Can't you see my stomach is yelling for food? I must eat, I must go down to the river. Very well, I will let you go and eat the fish from the river. But when you return, you will help your brothers and sisters with the work. Yaka walks down to the river and eats five large trout. <laughs> Yaka walks to his den, only to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Old Mother Earth sees this. Mm. Yaka! What are you doing? Why are you not helping your family? You disrespect me by eating my food and sleeping for months and months. Then you awake only to sleep again. I looked around and saw nothing to be done. I'm so sorry, my son. But you will not learn your lesson, so now I will have to teach you through action. Yaka awakes the next day to find that none of the animals of the forest are up. They have all slept in. Old Mother Earth, why are all the animals not working today? Why is there no food in the rivers, no food anywhere? I have told all my children to take the day off to act like you. That way you can see how hard it is without all of my children working together. This is insane, old mother. No food? I will starve. This was written from uh, someone from a different community, but we wanted to share this with all of you. Thought it would be fun for you, okay? Here we go. Revenge God's Butters by Imani Anto. Time, three hours before grand entry. Place the closet in the Motel 6. <laughs> Two-door closet, light peeking through under the door and in between. Light reflects off materials and jingles. Four empty hangers embroidered on the vest. I-N-F-R, Indian National Finals Rodeo. 
suitcase on the ground, a fan on the shelf above us with rough white walls and it feels like it's 90 degrees. At Rise, Pink, the jingle dress, is hanging on a hanger and Blurple, the jingle dress, is on the ground. Hey, what are you doing down there? Oh, nothing. Just thought I'd check out the floor. <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing? I fell! Well, sorry, drama mama. I just now noticed. How'd you fall? I don't know. I just falled. Hmm. I think your collar's too big. Oh, no. That's jacked up. How? No, not you. I landed in some fry bread, and it's got some butters on it. <laughs> noise that you always make. Fine then. Oh wait, how rude. I'm not obnoxious. Well, not that obnoxious. Oh, can you just do it? Because if I stay down here, they might not see me. They'll leave me behind and I won't be able to dance at the powwow. Oh yeah. If I leave Blurple on the ground and we left her, I could be the main dress and be worn all day. <laughs> and I won't have to share any dancing time with Blurple. Oh yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> what are you doing, weirdo? <laughs> Don't you know I'm all bumming out here? Ah, oh, yeah, I do. And I've thought about it, and I thought, why should I help you when you being so rude to me? What? Yup. Now, can you please keep it down? Because I gotta get some beauty sleep before the powwow starts. It's gonna be a long day. Wait, <laughs> don't, don't do that. You can't just ignore me like that. Oh, yes, I can. Ew, gross. That fry bread is stuck in my jingles. Is that stuck in your jingles? <sighs> I thought you were supposed to be ignoring me. I am. I wasn't talking to you anyways. Yeah, you just were. No, I wasn't. I was singing a song called, What Got Stuck in Your Jingle? <laughs> <laughs> Off to Vegas by Hitsiu Pahat Johnson. Time, end of winter, just after breakfast. Place, the mountains of Montana, a grove of very tall ponderosa pine trees next to a tiny meadow with a stream running through it. The snow is melting, filling the small creek covering the bigger rocks, making it safer to jump into from a log bridge. The bridge is a large cedar tree that fell over several years ago. It's about 30 feet above a slow-moving pool in the creek. There is a mist on the water and frost on the rocks in the shade. The sun shines on the melting snow, making everything very, very bright. The sky is bright light blue and the air is crisp and still. At rise, Talon, the eagle, is standing on the cedar log bridge. Chubby, the chipmunk, is reading a flight manual. Talon, you need to flap your wings and keep your tail down. Okay. Like this? No, 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 no. no. Like this. You have to flap your wings together and keep that tail down. Okay, so flap my wings together like this. Does this look right? Sort of, man. And stretch your wings out further and, re and remember to put your feet in. Okay. Readies himself to stretch his wings out, jumps, puts his feet in, flaps his wings together, but flips his tail up. 
Talon backflips and crashes into the water. Ah, Talon you need to put your tail down. Water. You didn't keep your tail down, man. I did keep my tail down. No, you didn't. You put it up. As soon as you put your feet up, put your tail up, this is why you backflip and you crash. Okay, my tail was down. Okay, okay, your Ugh. tail was down. Okay, let's try this again. Chubby shows flight instructions oh. and points to the illustrations as Talon passes to the launch point. Like this right here. Wings together, tail down. Okay, wings together, tail down. <laughs> yes. That is exactly what you're supposed to do. Good? Yeah. Think about leaving. Thinking about Las Vegas. Oh yeah. Think about a nice warm vacation. Ooh. Talon jumps with his tail down, feet in, and his wings whirl one at a time. He crashes into the cold water. <sighs> tail down, feet in. What happened? There is no warm vacation. If you would just stop complaining and do it right, it would be a warm vacation. If you were a good teacher, we would be out of here already. Oh. If you can't help, start walking. If you would listen and do it right, you would be flying already instead of walking. On the last jump, your tail and feet were good, but your wings weren't flapping together. So let's do this again. How bad do you want to leave? You know, you're supposed to help me, not put me down. Maybe I was a fool to think you could help me fly. You don't even have wings. <laughs> I think the only reason you're here now is because I am your ride out of here. Those legs will never last till Vegas. <laughs> if you want out of here, we have to work together. I have a plan to get us out of here. Then I need you to relax and listen. You need to keep trying. Think about what it will be like to fly to be free, to go wherever we want. If huh. you are determined to leave, we will be out of here in no time. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, you're not cold and wet. I thought your dream was to fly. So dry off and let's try it again. Talon dries off and gets ready again. Huh. I'm not gonna give up. I can do this. All right, I'm gonna fly this time. Talon looks towards Chubby, stretches, Flaps and jumps up and down. Ooh, does this look right? Wings together, tail down, feet in. That looks good. All right. Focus. Concentrate. All right. Tap into your ear, your cheek, your inner eagle. Talon jumps up, flaps his wings several times. He's dropping, but flying for a short time. He crashes into the water. Exploring is the idea that it's still top happening. of the page, right? Profile. And you like give yourself a name that you feel expresses something about who you are. So those are different ways. Okay. Is it a name that can be made up? Shapes, to start an art shop, and have a family. 
My greatest wish is to be on a huge NBA court. I want to be dribbled with by any professional basketball player. But I have a real big fear. My fear is being popped. My owner, Tony, has had me for about three years, and it's been great. Then there's Boston. Boston's Tony's glasses. Boston worries about me way too much. She literally acts like my mother. Mm. She's always like, if you keep going to these basketball tournaments, you're going to get popped. Mm. She says it every time she hears Tony has a tournament. Most days, I try to ignore her, but she's always antagonizing me. I don't tell her to stop because I'm very insecure. Yeah. Sure, Paris' name is the city of love, but I want her to use her love and help me find my love, my family. Paris doesn't understand that we are on this trip to find my family. Yes, she gets to travel wherever she wants, but she needs to do her part and help me just as much as I helped her. My family is all I can think of right now. I know they didn't leave me behind on purpose. I know that I don't know them, but I love them, I need them. I want to cherish every moment I can with them. My life is empty without them. Of course, I have Paris every day and right by my side, but this pain that is suppressed, compressed, and locked away, all this anger, rage, sadness, envy, and the thoughts of neglect, abandoned, thrown out. And all I want is just. Just love, compassion, a friend, family, and that's all I want. But I mask these emotions day by day, and I, I wear a broken mask. And that's all I want, is just care. And that's all I ask. Hi, I'm Tariq Wells, and I'm in 10th grade. How? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Justine Slim John, and I am a junior at Lapway High School. Hi, my name is David Morell. I'm 10th grade. <laughs> I'm Natasha Slim Jim Smith, and I'm a freshman. All right. 